Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff, an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and welcome to Stamping to Share. Today I'm going to share something with you out of the brand new 2014-15 catalog. It's something my customers get to make next week at Card Buffet and it's a card using a new stamp set. So this is a picture of the new catalog and if you are not one of my customers but would like to be, just send me an email and I will go ahead and get this catalog in the mail for you for $5 and I can start collecting the money for that in just a couple days. So let me know if you're interested and let's go ahead and I'll show you the card we're going to make. The card we're going to make is this one right here and it features one of the vintage stamp sets in the new catalog. The stamp set looks like this. It's called Traveler. It's got some great vintage images. Now it does not have any sentiments, so I am going to the Wetlands sentiment, one of my Stampin' Up! favorites. It's got a couple of great sentiments on here. So we're going to make this into a birthday card. And if you'll notice, there's a new rich color that we're featuring called Blackberry Bliss. And we also have a new paper pack. You can see the Designer Series paper back here. That paper pack is called um, Moonlight Paper Packs or Paper Stack. And it's one of the um, two paper stacks that are four and a half by six and a half featured in the new catalog. And there's 12 sheets. Um, two designs on each side, so 24 different designs, 48 sheets. Love this paper. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, let's set this aside, and here is our cardstock. I have it at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. And again, this is this new Blackberry Bliss paper. So I've already um, folded it here and I just use a bone folder to enhance the crease a little bit so it'll lie flat for us. The next thing that we are going to do is our inside panel that is made with our Sahara sand cardstock cut at four by five and one fourth and then on the inside I have a one half inch by four inch piece of designer series paper just a little strip to accent that paper. So now I'm just going to take some snail run that across the top and we're going to set this on the inside panel of our card and then we'll do a little stamping as long as we're at it. I've got some stays on black here and here is the uh, birthday image from the wetlands stamp set and then I'm going to use the globe image from Traveler and stamp that down here in the bottom corner there we go. That's kind of nice because it carries the theme through the um, from the outside panel to the inside panel. So now let's work on the outside panel. I've got a piece of scrap paper here and we are going to again use some stays on and I am going to just ink up various images from the Traveler stamp set and just start stamping those. So here we go. And I'm just stamping these in the bottom section of our card. And I'm not really worried too much about filling in the center just perfectly because we are going to not see that area. So basically what I'm doing is just taking all of these diff different images from this stamp set and stamping them all around the card. And we're going to make it a little bit tight. It doesn't matter if the images overlap a little bit. And let's see. I think we'll get the train image on here again. And then what can we put there? How about the luggage? Now I don't even know if this is showing up on the camera. For all I know it isn't but let me bring it up closer and you can see there's all the different images that we've just stamped. Okay, now let's go ahead and start layering up the card. So what we are going to do is we're going to take that Sahara sand paper again and we've got a three and a fourth inch square cut out and we're just going to layer that right on top of our card panel. So we're just going to set this right in like this. And I'm leaving a little bit more room on the top because I'm going to be putting some washi tape at the top and the bottom. 
And then the next step is to layer in the designer series paper. This is a three inch square of the Moonlight designer series paper. That's in our small paper stack. I'm just going to layer this on like this. And then a little bit more stamping again. We have a three inch square of our cardstock vellum that's stamping up cells. And we're going to take the ship image. I'm going to ink that up and then we're just going to stamp that right here on our vellum like that. Oh that is so pretty. And then we are going to take some glue and we're just going to put a little bit of glue at the top and the bottom and that's actually right where the washi tape goes so if the glue does show through a little bit it isn't going to matter because we're not going to see that anyway. Also what's nice with the glue is I can just move it a little bit so I can get this positioned on here just right. Okay, and now we can just add our washi tape and we're done. Stampin' Up! is keeping the Epic Day washi tape in the new catalog for another year. So I selected the gray stripe and I'm taking, oh I don't know, what is it? About an inch and three quarters here that I'm going to set along the bottom and then I'm going to take another inch and three quarters and set it along the top. And this is our card. It's complete and it looks so great. Great manly card. Great card for someone going on a cruise or someone who's just back from a cruise. And then there's the inside panel. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day and thanks so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. I truly appreciate you. Bye-bye.